my safe is trash. Yeah, baby. Alrighty, getting into our next match that I need to change the, the whole thing for. Hold on one second. SNES versus side. There we go. Let me switch those. Alrighty. Um, as I tab back in, it's definitely looking like side is going to lose his first stock within less than 20 seconds. SNES with a nice little zero to death. This Macalon is easily the best Macalon that I have seen. Um, you know, in a while, Big Paul, I don't really know if he's still active in this game, but SNES has definitely taken over the Macalon, uh, the Macalon agenda for sure. But I mean, it, it, if, if we see a JV4 here, never mind. I gave him the curse. If we would have seen a JV4 there, SNES would have just won the tournament. I just would have gave it to him, to be honest. This is easily one of Derek's worst matchups, because if he gets off stage, he cannot make it back because of how good down air is for Macalon there. SNES also just being such a good player. It's super hard to try to play against this character or against this player. Yep, and he's not going to be able to make that back. SNES taking the second stock, only taking 34% on his first. He is looking super good in this game, number one here. second all right and SNES looking like he's about to take this one here yep and that down there should go ahead and seal the deal I do not think he'll be able to make that back even with the help from the down airs on the on the grenade SNES is going out there and going ahead to end the whole game making that one very very dominantly Andy I'm Sandy Cheeks. Alrighty, getting into game number two here. We are going to be seeing the Macalons Paradise stage come out. And we are, we do have a Macalon on the stage here. So, might see a little bit of a home court advantage. I don't know. The way SNES has been cooking with Macalon, it doesn't matter what stage he's going to be on. Side, he's definitely got to get something started here. And Sandy is very good at doing zero to deaths and all these crazy combos. Let's see if Side's going to be able to do any of them against a player like SNES. Oh, hold up. Hold up. Damn. Oh, my God. Hold up. Where? Why was he playing the character? I don't even remember who he was playing before he got cooked so damn bad. Why was he not playing Sandy? Oh, well, he's dead now. It's okay. It doesn't matter. But, I mean, hey, that, that first stock was looking great. I don't know about that. I don't know why he played the character he played before. How do I not remember it? It was just two seconds ago. It was Derek. That's what it was. I don't know why he was on the Derek, man. The the the, the Sandy looking crispy right now. Doesn't have the lead anymore, but I'm sure he'll be able to take it with just one touch. And speaking of that, here we go. Tries to go for it down there. Uh, SNES being able to avoid the side B there. Okay, but this should be big damage. No, goes for a neutral B instead of a down B. And I really don't know. He's going to be able to make this one back, but he almost gets himself killed trying to ledge drop there. Uh-oh, here we go. Oh, was going to go for a down air. I am sure of it. Goes for a down air there, but great tech from SNES to go ahead and get himself back up to stage. And you can see that the shenanigans side's trying to go for. He's going for the ledge drop into the side Bs, and I don't know if you want to keep doing that against somebody like SNES. He's going to be able to adapt to that very quickly, and Sandy doesn't have the best of recovery, so you definitely got to be careful when you're off stage there. That back air going to do a good bit of damage. Wasn't the sweet spot, I don't believe. It might have actually killed if it was. Let's see if he's going to go for a raw up B here. Okay, getting hit with the back air. There is no jump right now, so if he gets hit off stage, it's going to be his life. Okay, doesn't go for it this time, but does get hit by the down air, and the jump is gone. Will he be able to make this one back? Yes, he will. SNES not getting these edge guards the way he wants to, but he is DIing these side beats perfectly to make sure that side is not able to get a follow-up. Almost getting the shield break there. Are we going to see him be able to take this stock away from SNES and potentially get himself back into this game? You do not want to get hit by any more fire attacks because they are just going to do so much extra credit towards your stock, and you do not have another stock to, um, oh, Lord, to play around with. Jumping over the down B. Gonna be able to get that back air, take that stock away from SNES. I definitely see the potential in him being able to take another stock from SNES and potentially take this game because this is SNES's last stock. But look at, I don't know if he's DI'ing these perfectly or Side is just messing up his inputs, but it's not looking too good for him and that's gonna be it. No, Side gonna be able to make it back. SNES actually giving him a little bit more signs of life. He was gonna die there from the reversal up B. 
I mean, right now, he's still got a lot of percentage on him. One more down there should be enough to go ahead and steal it away. He is going to be able to make this back with the help from the side being SNES, not getting that edge guard the way I'm sure he wanted to. But let's see if he's going to be able to end this with another down air. Okay, this could be big damage. Sides, you cannot fold here. You do not have any life to avoid. Oh, no. Don't do the last hit. Oh, God. He's just pressing buttons now. One more of those attacks off stage, and that's going to be it. You get edge guarded here. That's going to be GG's. That back throw will kill you from any side of that stage. And SNES, going to take that one too. Oh, but, I mean, it was close. I just think side should have went ahead and opened it out with this, uh, with the Sandy.